Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a video link to a gentleman or a person that made a threaded screw, and I'm going to break this into two parts. And he did a really good job of making the screw because it's a beautiful screw top and thread. But there's just music playing, and, and I, like a lot of people in his comments, don't really learn from not... And he also goes too fast like I used to do. So draw an ellipse, you know, not hold down the control button so it's not perfect. Uh, more like an oval. Hit the plus key on your keyboard. Start moving and hold down the control button because you need it right on top of each other. And then we need to make this corner look better. So I'm drawing in a hairline for this reason because I can break these lines apart with the virtual segment delete key and make it look like well, that isn't what I wanted. Uh, that's what I want, and I want to take that away. There we go. So just do the same thing to the other side. And when drawing with a hairline, if this line was thicker, you might not be at a virtual segment leak key or virtual segment delete these other lines because uh, they're almost too thick. So there we have that. That's done. Now, this is just a rectangle. We'll make a rectangle at least as long as the screw is wide, and then just kind of rotate it to a fashion. We need to turn it into a curve. Go to object, convert to curve, or convert it to a curve. And then we're just gonna lay it across our screw. Now what we're gonna do is take, because it's a curve, we can bring this up to that point, bring this up to this point, Bring this up to this point, and it'll kind of snap to where you were. Now, I'm not really on that point very well. And see the curved line, we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna double click on our new line and just bring it down. Double click just far enough away, don't have to be that precise, and kind of imagine what it's gonna look like. And then we can delete this line. See where I'm going there with that. Same thing on this side. Just get your shape tool back and double click by putting a node and we want to put a node on our square part, not our curve part. And on this one, you're just going to probably just bring it into the wall itself. And then we can delete this and delete. No, we're done. So then take a two point line and go from that node to that node. We're actually really done. Now take your smart fill tool, fill it, uh, smart fill, have a light gray and gray in some of these parts. Uh, might want to make that, and I'm going to show you here in just a second how to fix that. And then grab the Smart Fill tool and get a little bit darker gray and fill in that edge and maybe the sides. Now you can't really see that leading edge because there's no line there. So let's select the whole thing and right click a line. And then you could change it other than a hairline to just give it a little bit more definition. That's almost too much. So probably one point. And there you have a screw top. I would probably, if I was gonna do it for real, I'd make it a lot thicker than this, uh, but you get the idea. Now stay tuned to part two, and I'm gonna show how to do the thread. Hope that helped, thank you for watching.